Hey ladies, it's your girl Hypnotic Lady and I'm back. Today I will be working with the company Tina Shea Hair. The wig I'm working with is a 13 by 6, 26 inch wig and 200 density. Y'all, get into this color. I Those of you who have been following me know that I like to go in with a razor comb or eyebrow razor and cut off my excess lace. Um, you just want to start on one side and then cut off the other side until you get what you need. This is what it should look like. And then once that's done, I like to go ahead and put my wig back on. Make sure everything is lining up how I need to line up. If you need to cut any extra lace off, go ahead and do that before we clean the perimeter of our hairline and get ready to put it on. I do use 70% alcohol to clean the perimeter of my hairline. You can use something higher, but I really feel it's not necessary. Um, just take a cotton swab or a rag or a Q-tip and go around around the perimeter of your hairline where your ball cap is and clean the perimeter of your hairline sis you don't need no makeup no dirt no none of that once that's done i like to go ahead and place the lace back down make sure everything looks good before i put the glue down so we ain't got no problems the glue i will be using is bold hold active of course and y'all i just took tay's virtual class ergate's virtual um class and he said to start doing it you know side by side don't do the whole hairline at once he likes to work from one side to the other. So I'm gonna be starting off with my right side and then just using a rat tail comb and my glue, smoothing that out um, in a like, I guess smoothing motion. I don't know how to really say that. Um, and using the blow dryer in between, switching between my hot and cold setting. I do this about three times because I want like a medium hold. If you guys want a stronger hold, I would do four to five layers, but I only did do three layers. Once the glue is almost completely clear, not completely clear, but almost clear and a very tacky substance, that's when you wanna go ahead and put your lace down. Um, I start by in the middle, placing it down in the middle and then stretching out the sides to the ear tab to make sure I get a flushed look. I don't want any ripples or any wrinkles or anything in the lace. And if you have any extra lace popping up after you lay it down, just take some excess glue on your rat tail comb, place it wherever you need to place it, use the blow dryer and smooth it out until it's laid down flat. I repeat the same process on the other side until I get the entire lace melted how I need to. Please take your time. Don't rush, but also don't go too, too slow because the hair will, um, not the hair, sorry, the glue will dry. So, like I said, take your time, but kind of, you know, move in a fast paced kind of self motion so you just get the gist of it you're not moving too slow but you ain't going fast and then any other excess lace i just went in and cut off with my cuticle scissors i'm gonna again like i said i'm gonna repeat the same process on the other side until the entire lace is glued down Starting on the other side of the lace, I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to do three layers of glue using my rat tail comb. I did use a popsicle stick for some odd reason. I think I picked that up because I seen it before I seen my rat tail comb and then quickly picked up my rat tail comb <laughs> and smoothed it out. Um, if you have a rat tail comb, I would suggest using that because I feel like it smooths the glue out better than a popsicle stick or anything else. And like I said, I'm doing three layers and using the blow dryer on my hot and cool setting in between until I get the tackiness that I need. And then once that's done, we're gonna press that lace down.
going to go into my parting. I am going to be doing a swoop bang style. So I'm just going in and doing a U part in the crown of my head. As you guys can see, it just looks like the snooky U, like if you were to flip it back, but it's just going forward. Make sure that it's even because if not, it's going to kind of look funny once you mold everything down. So yeah, just go in like a horseshoe like motion, U shape motion, whatever you want to call it. Um, until you get the desired shape that you're going for and then just pin that off section it off so we can press out the top because you want your wig to lay as flat as possible now to lay my wig down I am gonna use this nutrients wax stick that I got from my local beauty spa store you can use that or any other product you have to lay down the hair then I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb not sorry <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with my hot comb and press everything out until I get the flatness that I want. Um, I really, really like when my wigs lay flat. I feel that's what makes it look the most natural. Um, I don't like any lumps or humps or bumps or anything on the wig. I don't like it to look big at all on my head because I have a small head. So take your time with this process. Um, use the hot comb as much as you need. And please, please, please make sure you do not burn yourself because I've also done that before. Like, it's no fun. You're gonna have a burn mark and then you gotta wait for it to go away and it's gonna be wherever in front of your frontal is and it's not gonna look good. So yeah, take your time with this portion. Um, don't burn yourself, don't burn your hair, but take your time with the hot comb until you get everything flat to how you need it to be. I'm going to be taking my baby list pro straightener and this press out comb or silk press comb I also got that comb from my local local beauty supply store and you can purchase that baby list pro I think it's a baby list pro titanium straightener um, at Sally Beauty I got it a couple years back so I can't remember the actual price I paid but I do believe that baby list pros products range from like 60 to 80 dollars depending on what you're getting um but yeah i'm just gonna go in with that and press out the hair that i need to lay flat and i'm gonna do this on both sides because like i said i'm gonna be doing a swoop bang and i want everything to lay flat don't forget to press out the back of your hair as well sis i hate hate when i see wigs nice and flat and silky and looking straight up front and then in the back it looks a hot mess so make sure y'all press out everything press out the back press out the front press out the other side make sure you press out everything if you're going to be wearing straight hair everything needs to be straight sis okay not cricket <laughs>
we are going to be working on the bang portion once you have got everything flat and pressed out. If you need to make any adjustments to your part, go ahead and do that before you mold down your bang. Um, I did put a little bit of the wax stick on the hair, not too much because I didn't want it super oily, but I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and mold everything forward to my hairline. Now, when you're doing this, please make sure you do not burn yourself. Don't let the hot comb touch your skin or your forehead because you are, like I said, combing the hair forward. Be careful and extra cautious with this process, but it's gonna be worth it. Just make sure you press everything down. Um, don't really press down or just go in a forward type motion. You wanna have everything, all the hair going forward. And then once you get it smoothed out and you know to your desired liking, um, you're gonna figure out what side you want your part on. I will be doing my side part to the right. So with that being said, um, I'm just gonna smooth everything out with my rat tail comb and kind of just hold it until I get those swoop I'm looking for. This part actually takes a little bit of time so again like I said y'all take your time with this I did go in with my wax stick like I said to put a little bit on the hair to have it kind of molded together I didn't want to put any holding spray or any gel on the hair because I didn't really want hard hair so I'm just taking my hot comb and my rat tail comb and just molding the hair to how I like my swoop and once you get the desired look, I just tuck it behind my ear and then you wanna go in and use some bobby pins to pin that up. Once I get the desired swoop, now I'm just gonna comb all of my excess hair down and press it out one more time to get the finishing look. And then we are going to get into the baby hairs. Y'all, I was kind of excited about doing the baby hairs because like I said, I took Eric and Tay's class, um, his virtual class, and he showed me a new method on how to do my baby hairs. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do that. Um, I'm just gonna pull out a thin layer like I usually do and I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and pluck out any excess hair cause you know I do not like thick baby hairs at all. And then I want you guys to pay attention. I got this micro or half, I think it's 0.3 inches or three points. No, it's not three. I think it's 0.3 inches or 0.5 inch um, straightener that I ordered off of Amazon. And if you guys want to know um, the direct link, I'll just leave that below in the comments. Just let me know. Um, but you want to take your scissors or your eyebrow razor, whichever you want to use to cut your hair. I just use scissors and I went in a zigzag motion so the hairs are not straight across. Cut the excess hair off. And then I'm going to take this straightener right here. As you can see how small it is, it's usually used for like um, beard straightening or if you're trying to do a pixie cut. And I'm going to pre-curl the baby hair. Y'all, now I'm gonna take this flexible um, hairspray and I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow spoolie. I've been using these lately, these past couple videos, um, and swoop my hair. Now, I learned that it 
it takes it's way easier with doing the swoops when you pre-curl them and again y'all i learned that technique from arrogant taste class um it is a little hard doing at first but i got it after you know a couple tries and look how easy everything lays and that'll be the finished look and you know i'm just gonna go in and press out just a little bit more make sure everything's all nice and neat and then we done sis Okay, I lied. <laughs> Don't forget to go in and pluck your part to make it look more natural. And then of course, go in with a powder or concealer of I'd say a shade lighter than your skin tone and put that in to make your part look way more realistic than what it is. Um, and then after that, we're done, sis. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like anything like this, just leave a thumbs up below. Um, I'll make more videos like this and so on and so forth. If you got any questions, let me know. Like I said, any links that you guys need dropped for any products I use, let me know in the comments below and I'll post them for you. But this is the finished look. guys this is the finished look get into it get into it y'all i'm in love with this i hardly ever wear red hair or colored hair period because i just feel like i done been there did that but y'all i'm loving this i feel like a brat doll swoop swooping honey don't play with me like Come on now. And y'all, again, this is Tina Shea Hair. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Tina Shea Hair or Tanasha Hair. Um, this is their 26 inch, 13 by six, custom colored red wig. And it did come pre-plucked. Um, I did go in, of course, off camera and plucked it some more and everything just to customize it. Y'all get into these baby hairs. And I've been trying to do my baby hairs how Arrogant Tay has, because I just recently took his class, um, his virtual class. So shout out to you, Tay. But y'all, get into it, get into it. Tell me what you guys think. And I got some more videos coming, y'all. I've been gone doing a lot of shit. I got dogs now, Frenchies that I'm working with, and I'm getting my boots done. 
that's coming up very, very soon. And I plan on vlogging it and um, sharing that experience with y'all. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like the bang, no bang. Tell me what you like. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.